This Fleet Equipment unscripted interview is presented by Hendrickson, a leading manufacturer of heavy-duty suspension systems and components to the global commercial transportation industry. Visit hendrickson-intl.com to learn more. Hey everyone, Jason Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment. Welcome to Fleet Equipment Unscripted. We're at TMC 2024 in New Orleans. We're here at the Hunter booth. We're gonna talk alignment, we're gonna talk wheel balancing, we're gonna talk tread depth scanning, we're gonna talk all things tires, all things alignment. We wanna keep those tires rolling productively. Let's stop in the booth and see what we can learn. So Alan, we have heavy duty alignment here. We're talking, you have the new Hawkeye XL. Walk us through what you got here. Absolutely, so we're really excited to show the brand new Hunter Hawkeye XL heavy duty wheel alignment system. This is the first time that it's been here at TMC. So we've had lots of customers come by, check it out. What this new technology does is it uses cameras and targets instead of electronics at the wheel. And what this does for our customers is more uptime, more durability, lower cost of ownership. And that's good for anyone, right? Right, right. So so the technology's up there now. You mentioned it was on the wheel. It was on the wheel previously, correct? Yep, yeah. So before, in another technology, there's electronics at the wheel. We've eliminated that with durable targets. So all those electronics are moved up out of harm's way, out of the technician's hands, where they're safe and sound. And those cameras look at the targets, get you accurate, precise readings, and your technician can go about the alignment quickly and easily with Hunter's software. Okay, so let's see what they're looking at here. So then those are the targets, right? Yep, yeah, so these are our XL targets. So it'll allow us to see even at the furthest distances with, with longer wheelbase vehicles. We have a three axle truck here. And what's great, we, we mount these in, in a matter of, of seconds at each wheel, and we just roll the truck forward and we're gonna get our alignment readings in a matter of minutes. Right, so one thing, it's just on the lift for fun here at TMC, right? So it's on Absolutely. the ground, usually you roll them forward and it, 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 takes the, it takes the readings. Yep, so we have here as, as Hunter's heavy duty four post lift, which makes it really easy to lift up the, the vehicle and make those adjustments. With the XL system, you can do alignments on a lift, you can do it on the floor, you can roll it bay to bay, Whatever type of shop you have, okay. the system is configurable and, and ready to go out of the box. Okay, beautiful. Well, and then I see maybe, let's walk around on the other side of the booth. I think you have something that we can put in the ground and roll it over, right? Yeah. To get even more readings. We gotta feed the monster. That's right. So what we have here is Hunter's quick check commercial inspection lane. And with, with this technology, the vehicle will drive through, will automatically check the alignment angles. We'll also take pictures of the vehicles that drive through so that we record the condition all the way around 360 degrees. And then with this in-ground system you see here, mm -hmm. it'll measure using lasers, it'll measure the tire tread depth of the vehicle as it drives through however many axles that it has. Okay, so any size vehicle. Yep, yeah, okay. this, is, this is rated for class eight. <clears throat> you could have the truck and the trailer combined, drive through, and you'll have all those measurements and the time it takes to park and get out. Okay, where do, so where do those show up? Where do you see all those measurements? So that's available electronically okay. in the HunterNet portal where you can view information and reports. And if you want to print out, you can have that as well. We can send it to any network printer and you have that report to show the vehicle owner or the fleet manager. I see, so you can put this like wherever they're gonna roll into the yard or anywhere like that in the service center, you can get that tread depth, you can get that alignment info. Yep. Ready to go there, so if they're rolling in for a PM, I'm guessing, then you can take care of whatever might need taken care of then too. Yep, or you could email it right off too, whatever yeah. you need. So this, the sensors inside of here are IP67 rated. What that means is it, it's impervious to water, dirt. And there's also an active environmental protection system here where an air knife, an air jet, will actually blow water, leaves, whatever it may be, that rests on, on that glass piece uh, to clean it off and make sure we get a nice accurate reading. It even has a shutter built in too, so that it's, it, it's a, basically a shield that protects for, from the, uh, the elements from dropping onto the glass that, that's taking those readings with the laser and cameras inside the sensor. Right, but still not an outdoor, you don't want to just put it externally outside, right? It's still at a covered covered kind of application outside, but yeah, covered kind of location. You, you can put it outdoors. You would want an overhead cover. Um, you wouldn't want to put it on an island in the middle of a parking lot. Right. Uh, it, that wouldn't be a good investment and you know, not suitable. Right, but that protects from any of the gunk that's on the tires, anything that rolls over, that kind of thing. Yeah, or 10 feet of snow on top of it. <laughs> that's right. So it's the TCX 635. It's going to come exactly how you see it. The bead rollers and two hooks. We're going to come in on one side and first break the bead. We're going to the roller on the other side will be matched to that. But this time, as I break the bead, I'm going to come across the bottom of the tire and push it off the bottom. You're going to see it sucks it in the drop center up top, pushes it off the bottom. Tire change in 101. Beautiful. 
Just watch for the sweet spot. It's going to come off. Rotate it towards me so I can catch it. Safely dismounting the tire. Drop the roller out of the way. It's mostly about what I'm not doing. I'm not throwing the tire and wheel on the ground and going through the process of using hammers and pry bars. Yeah. Raise it up to working height. Get it started. A little pressure. Wheel it back to the sweet spot, which is right here. Start to push it on the assembly. Rotate it. It's on just like that. Ergonomic tool. And install the tire like that. Then, of course, best practice would be to drop the assembly, match the valve stem up with the dot. That's it. Thank so, you. how many of these do you think you do at a show? 300. No soreness, nothing? I mean, you're not oh, lifting, soreness. you're not no, bending. Just like this, yeah. Didn't break it. Nice Occasionally, and, I wash nice my hands, but that's about it, you know? <laughs> Got it. Awesome. Thank that's you for the demo. You're welcome. Thank you. So, in the heavy duty world, we have two real issues with tire balancing. We have the tire balance itself, but we want to make sure we have a round assembly, and we're going to address both of those. One of the things I like about this balancer is I consider it an automatic transmission. We used to have to take measurements and input them. Yeah. Now all we have to do is mount the tire, lower the hood, and the cameras are going to do all the work. So what you're going to hear is initially it's, it's checking the imbalance of the tire. It's going to give that to me on my monitor. But then you're going to hear a noise where the load roller, think of it as a dial indicator, the load roller now is measuring the oh, yeah, overall yeah. diameter. And it's also checking to see if this assembly is a round assembly. So as you see on the screen, it's given me how much weight I need to add to make it properly balanced. But again, the imbalance, the, the outer roundness, if, if it's excessive, we need to address that before we balance. So we come to our screen, we know how much weight we need to add, but we need to look here first. And this assembly is 20 thousandths of an inch out of round. It's telling me we can get it down to 10. So I'm gonna optimize it. So our tire is 16 thousandths of an inch out of round. Our rim is 7 thousandths of an inch out of round, and that combines for a 20 thousandths of an inch overall out of roundness, predicting I can get down to 10. So what I'm gonna do is, there's a laser light, I'm gonna take a grease pencil, and I'm gonna mark that sidewall of that tire with a laser shining. I'm gonna touch servo, you're gonna see this other one come around, same grease pencil, I'm gonna mark that rim, if, if we're gonna address it. And then we just gotta move the tire on the rim to align those two up, and that'll be the roundest assembly. These two can work together. So it works in concert with this machine real well because we can put it on that and we can spin that rim inside that tire to get those properly aligned. So on this assembly, we see that 20 thousandths of an inch is in the green. There's really no reason to do it. So we're gonna bypass that and just go back to the balance because that's fine. If we were mounting dual assemblies, mm -hmm we want to make sure we have two tires the same diameter or at least within a quarter of an inch. So we tell you within a tenth of an inch, this assembly is 38.8 inches in overall diameter. Very important with duals. We can also get into more technical measurements mm -hmm. on that rim if that was important. Um, so that's really important when we're doing duallys. And then now we come back, go ahead. Duolingo shops too? Yeah. Click of a button, you can change the language. It's a nice feature though. Oh yeah, okay. So to that a little bit further, you know, in, in tire shops tends to have a fair amount of turnover and keeping people properly trained sometimes can be an issue. So we've built in all of our training on the machine. So you get a new employee, you can put them in front of this. There's about 15 videos right. and you can train them up pretty darn quick. Right. But to get all the way back, another thing that's really nice about that, if we're gonna balance this assembly, you'll see the, the machine orients everything. So right now, you'll see a little dot, a red dot. We call it smart spot. So now we tell you exactly where to put that weight, not somewhere on this plane, but actually right here. So we'll put that weight on, we'll hit servo. And that's actually really important because you know a challenge in the past was technicians not applying the weight to the proper spot or thinking they applied it at the proper spot Close, because I'm off I'm off angle looking at perspective. Now we tell uh, you yeah. right exactly where to put it. So there's <laughs> there's never any question you get it in the right spot. Well, and those predictions that you're showing on the screen then too, that's all based on where you're going to place that and how you're going to balance it too, Absolutely. right? So you have to be really precise to be able to get it down to where you want it. That's exactly. And the other thing we can do right now, we're set up to do tape on weights. 
you may have a shop that, that prefers clip on weights or a touch of a screen. Oh, yeah, okay. We can go from tape to clip oh, weights. Oh, yeah, show me that again if you yeah. could, right there. So, right now we're on clip on yeah. weights. Now we're on tape oh, weights. Oh, okay. Or we can do a hybrid. We can do a clip and a tape, depending oh, okay. on what you want. Yeah. Oh, cool. You know. Uh, we can go into even more detail with spokes. We can hide the weights behind a spoke if you have a oh, yeah, okay. particular customer who doesn't like to see the weights. We can do that. Um, and if we're on clip-on weights, the other thing that's really cool about it, and Alan kind of addressed it, right now we've got a laser light showing exactly where we need to put that weight. We need that weight centered to that knot right there. And what we found over time, before we had the laser lights, the guy would lean over and he'd guesstimate where 12 o'clock was. And the taller guys would tend to go past 12 o'clock, yeah. the shorter guys would be before. Oh yeah. Okay. So now with the laser light, we just get much more accurate placement of wheel weights, which saves time and money, because everybody that's ever bounced the tires, put the weights on, spin it, and it says it's still out of bounds, I got out of weight somewhere else. Wasted time. Right. Wasted material. Right. There you have it. Very cool. Thank you guys. Yeah.